We looked at editing the primitives of geometry, but what about editing uh, groups of geometry or a little bit more about transforming? There's uh, more than one way to transform geometry in Nuke. Uh, practically every geometry node has its own transform controls, so you can transform the geometry from its sort of root level of its node. But you can also group geometry. We've already seen the scene node, which is one way that geometry can be grouped. So let's group all this stuff together using a scene node. I'm going to select every single piece of geometry here. And I'm going to start, I'm just going to connect a scene node to all of them all at once. And you, as you can see, you can have multiple scene nodes if it makes sense. So you can use the scene node to collect geometry together. Now this doesn't have a light attached. I could attach the same light to both if I wanted the same light. Let's say that I wanted to take this skeleton and sort of manipulate this skeleton. To put him just where I wanted him. And I'll view it at the scene node here, and I can see them all at once while I edit the skeleton. So I can edit geometry this way by editing it at, at its node, its own node. I can also use the transform geo node if I want to create another layer for transformation. So I'm going to drop a transform geo node underneath this skeleton. So now I have an additional layer of control. This will give me another transform handle. I'm editing the transform geo handle here to edit, to move him around. Now you notice that this transform geo has a look. It can have a look at and also has this input axis. So let's uh, let's play around with those a little bit. So let's say that uh, I wanted to transform multiple pieces of geometry without actually grouping them. So I'm going to get rid of the scene node here. I'm going to create another transform geo on each one of these nodes and I'm going to create an axis node. An axis node in Nuke is kind of like a null. It's a, a handle that has 3D transformations in it. I could attach the axis node or the axis input of all of these transform geos to this axis and now when I axis this, when I move this axis, it's like they're all parented to it. But they're really not parented to it per se. It's the axis driving their transform geo. So it's a slightly different relationship. When you group them together with a scene, that is more like parenting them together into one group. But when you do it this way, it's more like moving them all along by the same handle. So that's one way you can move things. You can also have look -ats as I mentioned. So we could create another axis. Let's say we've got our skeleton out here still. Could create, let's just duplicate this axis, copy and paste. And I'm going to move this axis over here and attach this to the look at. And that will cause, that will cause this axis to point at that. So in this case, because the skeleton's head, the axis is at his feet, his, uh, point his uh, rotation point as long as feet it's actually pointing at it from there so you can use this to to do simple animation of, of geometry as well the look at and the axis to get things to move in in simple hierarchies yet a third way I guess you could say that you could or at least a second way that you can group geometry is with the merge geo node so the other system of grouping them into a scene was more like analogous to a group, but the merge geo is more like a, a merging the geometry into a single set of geometry. So in this case, I've now merged all of these geometric primitives into a single geometric primitive. So if I wanted to write all of these out to disk now, I could do write geo here, and that would dump all of this geometry to disk. If I had a scene node, this would also write all the geometry to disk that was connected to the scene node. And one thing that I want to mention that is uh, a little known feature, 
Uh, in this case, I have a camera and a light attached here and some geometry for this scene with the skeleton. If I wanted to, I could drop down a right geo node. I'd have to connect this camera to here as well. I could drop down a right geo node here and actually write out not only the geometry of the skeleton, but also the camera and the light in formats like FBX or Alembic. So as you can see here, I have the option of writing out my camera. And in, uh, in Alembic as well, I can write out my camera. Alembic doesn't really care about light so much because it's more of a geometry cache format, but it can write out the the geometry or the transforms for the camera. So Alembic and FBX can be used to get information out of Nuke, all the 3D information you might need to sort of create an analogous scene in another 3D package, like the camera and the, the basic lighting information, etc.